Whether you're a cycling newbie or seasoned pro, we all make mistakes. And while it is believed that we learn best from the errors we make, at the time, it never quite feels like that. So to save you the time, hassle and embarrassment of making silly cycling mistakes, we've gone to the effort of making them for you. Here's our top cycling mistakes to avoid. We'll forgive you for this one because it's an easy and common mistake to make. Positioning your saddle too high or too low could lead to a loss of power as well as injury. While bike fit is unique to each rider, there are some guides to follow when it comes down to saddle height. As a guide, ride along with your heel on the pedal. When your leg is at the very bottom of the pedal stroke, it should be almost fully extended, but not quite. If this doesn't feel quite right, feel free to change it slightly until you are comfortable. Hitting the wall, or bonking as it's commonly referred to among cyclists, is when the body quite simply runs out of fuel. In most cases, you come to an almost grinding halt, and things will only get worse until you refuel. It's an error everybody has made, but it can easily be avoided. Before each ride, make sure you are sufficiently fueled. In other words, have something to eat. Porridge and bananas or toast with honey are great to help fuel the body over a few hours. Out on your ride, take with you more than enough food. A few gels or bars and a couple of bottles. Heck, even a sandwich will all provide energy and keep your tank topped up. Trust us, you'd much rather have too much food in your jersey pocket than not enough. Yeah. There's no mechanic van coming, and for most of us mere mortals, we've got to be self-sufficient because not everyone's going to stop and help, clearly. So to get yourself up and running back on the road quickly after a puncture or a double puncture, you'll need at least two spare inner tubes, a mini pump or gas canisters, and to make your life easier, pack a couple of tyre levers and a multi-tool into your saddle pack. In colder conditions, it's always better to slightly overdress than underdress. And remember, you can always take layers off. But even in warmer climes, never leave the house without a rain cape or a gilet because it could really cause your body temperature to plummet if there's a sudden downpour. And if you're heading out up hilly terrain, remember, the higher you go, the colder it will become. Wearing a windproof cape will prevent wind chill and keep in body heat. Get into the habit of regularly checking and keeping your bike well maintained. Not only will this make it perform better, but it will be nicer, easier and safer to ride too. Pay special attention to the brakes, gears and tyres and make sure that you're regularly lubing and cleaning your chain to prolong the life of that too. Now if you're not confident doing all this by yourself at home, then most bike shops do offer servicing now, so make sure you're taking it in every now and again. We've all done it. The adrenaline is coursing throughout our veins and we just can't help ourselves from firing out the gates. Cycling is a tough sport at the best of times and while there's nothing wrong in wanting to go faster than ever or beating a PB, it's important that you know your limits and ride within it. Going too hard too soon could ruin your ride, not to mention your morale too. It's common for those of you who are new to cycling to rely on your brakes too much. When needing to slow down, it can be tempting to grab the brakes hard, but braking must be done in a controlled manner. Braking extremely hard could lead to a loss of control and stability, and in extreme cases could see you flying directly over the handlebars. Not to mention, it doesn't do any favours to your mates behind. Instead, keep your eyes on the road ahead, anticipate and brake gradually using a combination of front and rear. No one likes a visible panty line, not least cyclists. The chamois in your cycling shorts is designed to be worn directly against your skin and it will make things much comfier too.